So, bonjour everybody. Hopefully you can hear me. And the topic here is a really interesting one and one that um, many of you um, have been asking about. It's about quality. How can you find good quality pieces and how to see that the piece is good quality as opposed to poor quality? There are various things to look for. So, <clears throat> first of all, before going out shopping for something, for a piece, you need to start at home doing your decluttering, your editing, making a list of what you actually need before bringing things into your wardrobe. I always advise my ladies to do this and not to, to go shopping really in a hurry because you are more likely to get things that will not fit your your wardrobe and your lifestyle. So never be too much in a hurry to buy things unless you've been eyeing them for quite a while. This is what I do. And you know, once a few weeks have passed, oh, I still need this uh, really going to work in my wardrobe. I, I could make some really good outfits, with this piece, but I don't have it, so I need it, and suddenly it goes on sale, for instance, and you say, oh, this is the right moment. Who is like this? Who thinks about things for a long time? Who makes a shopping list? A shopping list with as many details as possible is a must. And now, quality. So, quality, so please um, prepare your questions if you have any questions. And we're going to try to stay on topic, and the topic being quality, okay? So that everybody is on the same page. Because if I start answering a question about something, you know, personal that is not, that hasn't got any um, relation to the topic, you know, it's, um, it's not good. Um, so um, never shop too quickly and shop in haste and you regret in leisure, at leisure. And that we, all of us, I think, or most of us <laughs> uh, has done that at some point. We have bought something really quickly. Oh, I really love this. And you come home and say, oh, you know, maybe it's not as I thought. Or oh, in a clear light of day, you know, <laughs> it's not um, what you thought. Sometime in the sale. You know, you're pushed by others, oh, buy this, buy that, it's in the sale, it's great. And maybe it's in a sale of um, a big designer or some, you know, or a brand that is quite expensive, and you think, oh, I'm saving money. And you bring it home, mm, it doesn't go with anything. But I spend a lot of money, what am I going to do? I'm going to keep it in my closet for the next 25 years because, you know, I paid good money for it, even though it was for sale. And it's from this designer. Um... So, as we know, things has to be uh, well. I'm just um, seeing that from Sparkly. Yes, because I say that to my ladies. If it's not a why, it's a no. So now, the topic, the matter of quality. I am not the only one who has noticed that things may have gone down in quality. Things are not made the way they used to be made. Um, a few decades ago, I mean... I remember my mother wearing jackets um, in fabric that was thick. Um, the buttons were beautiful. They were covered up for the fabric as well. Everything was well lined. The lining was um, has this kind of sheen in it. It was thick. It was well finished. Um, everything was well finished. Nothing ripped. So... I noticed, and you may have noticed, that things have changed. Things are not the same quality. And of course, we all know that term, you know, shrinkflation. And that shrinkflation has reached the close, definitely. So I have prepared a few things uh, behind me on the rail. And we're going to have a look at uh, various things. What can you look at when you buy something to determine if it's good quality or not? And then we'll get to your question um, after that.
So here I have a jacket and it is from Maj. Maj is a French brand and um, a jacket like this, I think it's about 300, 350 uh, euros, something like that. Um, so it is deemed a good brand for France, quite expensive. So let's have a look quality wise. So first of all, the fabric. The fabric is soft. It is made in wool. It is thick. So to me, uh, it is. It's moved that up a bit. So to me, it is a sign of a sign of good quality. The fabric is is thick, uh, soft. So already that is good. Look wise, when you first look at it, it is well made. There's nothing. Um, the buttons are not falling down. The hemlines are straight. I mean, of course, if the jacket is straight on the hanger, that helps. Um, but I can assure you, the it, it's straight. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, things are not well finished there. Eh? Uh, if I put it better in the hanger. And um, things are well finished everywhere. The On the jackets that are more expensive, you will see um, in the pockets, you will have a seam that you can remove. And the seam will be here, will be there. Um, you see here on this jacket, you have a lining on the inside of the pockets. Again, at a sign of good quality. If we look at the lining, you know, it's, it's a beautiful lining, silk-like. And it even has this little motif on it. It is well done all along here, well finished. Well finished as well at the back. And also, it is heavy. I'm feeling it. <laughs> so something, when you pick up something like a jacket or a coat and it's heavy, um, it's a sign usually of good quality. The fabric is heavy. They have not given you something with um, like a 20% wool and 80% acrylic, which would be much lighter. If something in wool, 100% wool, it is really heavy. Wool is heavy. So if uh, you buy something in wool, this one is in wool, it is heavy as well. So these are the things to look for. Uh, and next one and a half, I'm going to show you my jacket because I've got a jacket a lot. Uh, this one is from Cezanne. That's a French brand. Um, again, a Cezanne is not, um, it's not that expensive. It's more expensive than the lower brand. So for a coat like this, I think it was um, it's cheaper than Maj. And it's that uh, short coat was about 2,800, I think. Something like that. I'm not too sure. That's about two, three years ago about it. Again, you have that lovely lining inside with a little motif. I don't know if you can see that. It is heavy. I'm feeling it. It's made of wool. I expect that. If you if you go in a shop and you get a, a coat, I'm going to repeat it. If it's really light. You haven't got much wool in it. Wool is heavy. Um, the you've got simple pockets here. Lovely buttons, uh, but it's a simple coat, but well finished. It's well done. Um, here I've got, uh, I've got there, I'm going to show you something else. Another coat here, this one is from LK Bennett, that's a brand. And again, that's a wool coat, heavy. Uh, it's even got uh, like a chain here. That's also good. Um, the good quality items have that as well. So if you want to um, uh, hang your coat, hang it in there, and not, not by the back of it. <laughs> um, also a good sign as well, something is good quality. You've got wide lapels as opposed to narrow lapels. That could also be a um, question of trend. Again, you've got some nice detailing, well finished. Black lining on the inside, usually you have spare buttons. Um, so it's well finished. That's a thing as well, you know. You've got good thick fabrics, things are well finished, you've got the good lining, things are lined. Again, I've got a pair of trousers I had to show you. 
Uh, these are from Cezanne as well. Uh, Cezanne. Um, and the trousers are not that expensive. So wool, again, heavy. This is wool. This is thick. Can you see the thickness here? I mean, this is wool, thick wool. Well finished. Um, you wear that in the winter. It is comfortable and it is warm. So you don't need your pants, I tell you. Um, for those of you who are, oh, I wear, I wear your pants because I'm comfortable and I want to be warm. I wear something like wool trousers are really, really comfortable. They give a bit. They're made in wool. And it's so warm. And it is lined. I don't like lined. Um, I don't like wool trousers that are not lined. Okay, and this is lined in cotton. So very good. I've got a pair of trousers that are not lined, lined, and I expected something better. Uh, the couples, at a French brand, I think. I think they're French, even though it sounds English. But the couples, and it's in wool, wool trousers, but a bit light, thin, and for the price, more expensive than the Cezanne pair, which is so thick. It is more expensive. Um, the, I mean, it is soft, yes, but the wool is not as thick, nowhere near as thick, and it is not lined. Um, and look, so very disappointing. I do wear it. I'm not going to buy another pair of trousers um, like that again. I bought it online and it's my fault for not having looked. Um, I kept it because I really liked it, but it could, for the price, it could have been lined. Um, what else? Something else for trousers as well. Again, that's Cezanne again. I don't buy only Cezanne, you know, but <laughs> these are Cezanne. Um, Cezanne. You see, the inside of trousers are well finished. You see, they've got that, that white piece of cloth here in cotton, 100% cotton. This one is lined as well, as you can see. Um, so usually it's you know a fairly good quality that um and this one is wool as well not as thick as this these these are very thick uh but they're heavier than these for instance so you can see again okay, well you know we could see here the difference in those three wood trousers in thickness in um you know, whether they're lined or not that kind of thing so it's incredible, you know, sometimes you think you spend good money and you think, mm, so that's good quality, so that it could have been better, that kind of thing. Um, what else? Uh, I could show you. Jackets. Jackets, this one is not from Cezanne. <laughs> As from... Um, we say Spagnoli, Italian brand. I love them. Um, again, as a jacket, a little kind of a um, Chanel style jacket. Uh, it's well lined, beautiful. It's well made, absolutely gorgeous. Well finished here. You can see it's nipped in here. A little bit wider here. And uh, for instance, the Chanel jackets like this um, would be heavy and they would have some chain at the uh, at the bottom inside here in the hem too, so that the garment um, is weighed down and then it drapes really well. So this is what you can look at when you by quality and they're various as we've seen they're various um degrees or levels of quality and um 
it is important to look at the garment in um, for more angles. Is it wet finished? And this is, you know, for instance, um, my heart bleeds uh, when I see distressed clothing from designers, for instance. You know, you expect designers to have high end designers to create clothes that are the highest quality. And for me, something that is distressed is not of the highest quality because the garment is destroyed. Uh, the hems are frayed, that kind of thing. So it's not well finished. And to me, it is not, you know, why put good money on something like that. Um, so I'm going to have a look at the question and try to answer them for you. From Lani, Lani Locke. Bonjour. Has the French hosiery gone out of style? I still have a few pairs of dotted, dotted black thigh highs that I bought at Gare Lafayette in Paris. Uh, French hosiery we never go out of style. And at, actually, this autumn, winter, it has seen a revival. So please wear them if you want to. They're beautiful. <laughs> Another question from Sparkly. I have two pet peeves regarding trousers these days. One, summer weight wool being used for winter season trousers. And two, wool trousers now almost always unlined. Are these indicators of lower quality? Sparkly, I think I've answered the question. Your question while showing you those trousers. Yes, they have various degrees. Also, something else I've noticed. Mm. Sorry about that. I have noticed is in the summer, this is a winter because when winter, I've got the winter clothes. In the summer, you want to get yourself a pair of white trousers. And it's very difficult to pair what to have white trousers that are not transparent. You can see your, your legs through them. You can see the pockets. Uh, you can see the uh, the hemline, you know, um, between uh, in the trousers on the top. Um, you can see the underwear, and I, I find it it's not nice. Um, this is why I prefer jeans because they're not see through. I have bought, um, let's see, what is it? Cotton or, or cotton or linen? I don't remember. Now I have to, to look at it. Um, a trouser suit from Next, the brand Next. Years ago, when I was living in Jersey, years ago, maybe 18 years ago, they are made of thick fabric. They are lined in cotton. Oh, they must be linen. Um, they are not see-through whatsoever. They were so well made. Even now, I still wear, every summer I wear them. Amazing. And they were normally priced. And Next is not a high-end uh, clothing brand. But the clothes, even like 20 years ago, seem to have been better made. And now if I bought um, a trouser suit, you know, white, we're talking about a white, will it be see-through? I see many that are see-through. Um, I remember ordering a pair of trousers, uh, I think they were linen, white again from, uh, from the brand Reese. I don't mind saying the name of the brand. And uh, online, brought them here. Pfft, see-through and I'm expecting something better from a brand like Reese. Reese are not cheap. Um, so I send them back. You know, it's um, it's difficult. Things are changing. Um, question from Joyce. Hi, Marianne. Do expensive clothes have better quality? Higher price equal higher quality? Again, I think I've answered your question earlier. Higher price does not always mean higher quality because of the things I have said. And sometimes you expect something better from a brand and um, they come up short. I think um, nowadays people are, are trying to economize, cutting corners, uh, thinner fabrics, a mix of fabric, uh, mixing the wool with um, uh, some cotton or mixing the wool with some polyester, um, not always natural fabric sometimes, you know, there's a lot of viscose now, um, instead of cotton, viscose is um, half natural fabric, uh, it comes from trees, but is it's processed, 
Um, so things are changing. We see a lot of polyester instead of cotton. Uh, for some addresses, please let me know, though. do you expect cotton or linen? Please answer yes. <laughs> I don't expect to buy um, a dress for the summer in polyester. Uh, now there's, um, there are some uh, higher brands, maybe not high designers, but uh, higher brands that are not, you know, that are a few hundred pounds for a dress, for instance. Um, and you'd expect something in, um, in cotton, for instance, 100% cotton. And then you see it's uh, polyester. I'm not going to put 400 pounds on a dress that is in 100% polyester. I don't know about you, but no, not for the summer. Uh, polyester should be cheap, and nobody wants to wear polyester in the summer. And we see that all the time. And you know, sometimes, and when they say that it's um, um, what you call the polyester that um, reuse polyester, I don't remember, I can't think of the word now, uh, but. It's still very expensive when you think of it's still ex it's still um oh recycled polyester, but it's still polyester. Sometimes I've seen really beautiful dresses, a beautiful print, lovely cut, and I look at the fabric and recycled polyester. But for a summer dress, it's still polyester, whether it's recycled or not. I know we you know we need to recycle as much as we can, but um not for summer. I'm not again, what is that? Uh, oh, something's happened here. Okay. Uh, I hope I'm answering your questions here. Uh, <laughs> from D-Style, menopause and polyester are not a good match. No, they're not. And from Carla, I hate polyester dresses. Well, exactly. In the summer, you don't expect polyester. It sticks to you. It doesn't breathe. It gets wet. Oh. No, please give us cotton, Aline. <laughs> Is it too much to ask? <laughs> um, from Sparkly, another thing I've noticed, even high-end pieces, maybe decent fabrics, but poorly finished. Hanging threads, I have to clip off and buttons I loosen after a single wear. Yes, what is it with buttons? What is it with buttons that, that are loose? It, that's one of my pet peeves. I have a, I have a number of pet peeves, but uh, buttons that get loose, um, or as you said, you know those loose threads, hanging threads, hemlines. You know, you put your your heels through a hemline of trousers that you paid good money for, and you think, why why can't they finish clothes well? Especially hemlines, especially buttons. Things are these you know, hemlines and buttons. We use them. The buttons we use them a lot. So of course they should be sturdy and well sewn. Uh, and the hemlines, of course, it should be well finished as well because we put your, our feet through the, you know, the legs of trousers and sometimes we catch the hem. So this thing's not finished. Um, no, um, what do you call them? Um, no attention to detail, that kind of things. Um, is my pet peeve. Uh, coming from this style, high price does not mean quality. I do agree. Again, you know, we, we mentioned that. And, you know, in the olden days, high price meant good quality. But now it's no longer. So you really have, even in a shop that you used to shop at, you think, oh, things are well done, well finished. Because as we as we know, you know, you have degrees of quality. Of course, not everybody can buy a, a Chanel jacket at £35,000. Oh, um, okay. And I, I would expect a Chanel jacket to be well finished. But um, if you buy a jacket at a few hundred pounds already, it's, for me, it should be good quality. Uh, and if it's not well finished, you think, uh, you know, I'm disappointed. I think I'm being scammed or something. What's going on? Uh, many high-end brands sell very expensive clothes made of polyester. I'm glad I could find out some of blazing wool second hand from previous years. Yes, exactly. I agree with you this time. Oh, very good comment and questions here. A comment from Magda, I am allergic to wool, so I buy acrylic jumpers or cardigans, and after every wash, I use lint remover, and it looks like brand new. Ah, good. Yes. Um, well, of course, if you are 
allergic, you can't buy wool, and that is understandable. But again, you need, still need something of good quality, something that is well finished. Very good. Um, something I finished, um, something I did not mention as well, the, the patterns. Um, you know, when you buy something, a shirt or a pair of trousers, I think it's usually more um, visible on trousers, or I've seen it more ha happening in, in trousers. You know, if you wear um, a pattern trousers, and here on the side, one pattern goes this way, the other one there, for instance, especially if it's a check, for instance, you know, the lines don't match. <laughs> That is not, that's something to have a look at when you buy something with the print, as the print matching on the, on the, on the, um, on the seams from the front to the, to the back, to the side, you know, uh, that's something I have to look at. It's like t-shirts, some t-shirts you, you buy, I mean, they, they're really flimsy, um, you, you put them on once and they no longer align, they don't straight, you know, the hem is, is twisted. And you end up doing the dusting with it. Um, a question from Shelly. Does this thick wool add heaviness to the overall look? Trying to look thinner, wear thinner fabric, is that true? Or try to look taller rather than thinner? Well, the, the this for instance, this trousers would not make you look thinner. First, well, first of all, it is thick, but also uh, that add box here, and also you've got some pleats. So this this trouser, this one, will not make you look thinner. Um, it depends on on the cut, also, especially if you have a tummy. Um, Things may emphasize the tummy if you have pleats on the trousers, depending on where the pleats are and how they are formed. Um, but 100% um, wool, for instance, in a jacket, it's not going to make you, it's not that thick. I mean, it's thick, but it's not that thick. Um, for, as opposed to, for instance, um, a padded jacket or full fur, um, you know, it really adds a couple of inches or even more, three inches or something. Um, so again, you know, try things um, and compare things, have a look at how it looks on you, so it's a really good test. Uh, comment from Magda, and thank you very much everybody for your comments and your questions, very interesting, very good. I literally go shopping with magnifying glass, I love that. And yes, I mean, you need to, you need to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, is it well finished on the inside, inside there? Um, sometimes there are holes under the, the arms, things are not aligned. Uh, I've seen some, some things sometimes in shops, you know, pockets and pockets, you know, one higher than the other. Um, things like that, I don't know. You really have to look. Good idea, good idea. A question. Uh, M, how can we tell if something will be quality when jumping online? That, that's, again, that's very good. The thing is to have a look at the brand, you know, um, and the, you know, when, when you have a look at the brand you've never seen before, you don't know them, you look at the brand uh, online, you go into the shop. And if you go to the bottom, you have about us. So have a look what they say about their clothes. Are they, they talk about style and fashion, fast fashion, so it's more likely to be maybe um, lower, more fast fashion than slow fashion, um, and therefore maybe lower quality, where are they made, um, because where they're made could have an impact on the quality, for instance, if I buy in a French um, shop, they import things from the, um, from the other side of the world, may not be as good quality as if as when i buy from a french shop that have their clothes made in france from a french atelier for instance my friend adeline from Marraine in saint -Lô. um so that could have an impact so go and have a look 
at the bottom of the website, what they say about their clothes. Have a look also at the composition, composition or the fabric. They tell you, you know, is it 100% cotton or 100% polyester? Always have a look at the um, the fabric, the fabric content. Sometimes it's difficult for some clothes, difficult not to have at least 1% of, of um, lycra or spandex or something like that for some kind of stretch. It depends on the garment. Not everything can be 100% cotton, 100% wool. Some things need some time uh, a mix, um, but it needs to be a good mix. So, so that's the thing to do. And, and when you order something and you receive it, really have a look at the piece of my angles. And if you don't like it, you know, if it doesn't fit your requirements for quality, send it back. Um, Question from Lorelli. Can you talk about hem and seam finishes? Okay, let's have a look. For instance, at this one. So that uh, look at the seams. So that's well made. Um so, See, all that's well made there. Stitching is well done here. Well finished. Um, ah, but you see, look, again, could be better finished. That could be hemmed in, so we don't see that. So that could be, again, you see, it's not as, as well done as it used to be. In the olden days, you would never see a hemline like this. And it's not, you see, a cheap brand. So nowadays, how much, you know, how much money do you have to spend to have something that's really, really well finished? Um, and maybe sometimes even if you spend a few hundred pounds, it's still not as good as you know, you would hope. So things need to be well finished. Um, the seams have to be flat. Um, you know, everything has to be well finished, but it's rare now to find that. Very good question. Um, a question from Yvette. Uh, how to tell if pants hooks are quality? Um, yeah, again, you know, usually in metal as opposed to, to plastic, things are getting replaced into things that are, that are cheaper. Um, we noticed it with our food, now we, we are noticing it with the clothes. Um, it's, can we escape it? I don't know. But maybe if we if we instead of buying, that's a way to um, to do now shopping better. You know, slow, from, you know, fast fashion. It was um, I'm having a transfer above my head. Go away. So it's um, um, so by doing slow fashion, you know, by by using slow fashion, which is essentially what French chic. Uh, is about, we are about uh, slow fashion. We make our clothes last longer, we buy quality. Um, and um, in French principles, isn't it? Less is more, keep it simple, quality, not quantity. So instead of fast fashion, you know, let's embrace a slow fashion. Let's embrace French chic. French chic is slow fashion. And um, buy less, but buy better. Buy less, but, but better, you see. So that's a let's all learn about good quality, what to look for in in um, in clothes, and let's buy less but better quality clothing. Because let's not, you know, let's not. I think for um, quite a few years. We're getting used to, oh, I want this, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to this. And after a couple of weeks, we were fed up with, this, with the things. 
But now if we buy better, we're going to spend, instead of buying 10 cheap things uh, that we don't care about, because we just bought like that, we just buy one thing. But that thing is, wow, it's good quality, it's what actually you want to wear, you want to use. And uh, we can do slow fashion. Or buy second hand in, um, you know, if we are able to, on, on some quality item, design items even. Um, but second hand, so we can buy um, better things and give them a second life. It is good as well. Oh, yeah, you know, there's something else as well about um, quality and and the buttons. I mean, um, the buttons in the olden days used to be really good quality. They used to be covered, as I said, and um, um, or metal. But now a lot of them are in plastic. You expect metal in plastic. Again, things have changed. <laughs> and something else, I say, oh. I tell my husband something. Oh, it's a lot of, a lot of short skirts and a lot of crop tops. They're trying to save as well on, on, um, on fabric. But of course, the price is still the same, isn't it? <laughs> the price of a, a cropped sweater or the crop top is the same uh, price as a uh, something of proper length. <laughs> um, from Sparkly, a comment. The other thing I'm noticing is cotton sweaters blended with twenty percent or more nylon. Why? A sweater is not a sock and doesn't need any nylon unless they're using very low grade cotton or to cut corners. Uh, exactly. So they're trying to save um, on cotton um, with nylon. A very good comment. A comment from Clarisse. I am not slim. I need larger sizes. I find it difficult to find quality clothes in larger sizes. I read I read larger sizes require more fabric, so they cost more, but I'm willing to pay whatever it takes. So um, it's always been difficult for plus sizes, and I put that in my book on plus size, How to Be Chic and Elegant, plus size book years ago, and that was, gosh, how long ago did I buy it? Did I, um, did I write that book? Eight years ago, maybe. And, uh, what, nine, maybe even. I had noticed then that the style for plus size women was dire. And, and I'm sure the quality is the same. It's, I don't think this, there has been an improvement. Yes, there has been an improvement, but that much of improvement, no. So it is, it is really difficult. Yes, I agree with you. Mm. Um. From Mrs. A, a question. I live in the topics, in the, in the topics, in the tropics. Pardon me. I think it's even more difficult to find good quality clothing for warm weather. Do you have any suggestion? Yes, go for cotton or go for linen or even linen blend. Linen and cotton together are good um, because it still breathes, especially linen. I think linen is the best for uh, orami. It's very good for, for summer. Um, it's, to me, it's the, the best because anything else doesn't breathe with you. Um, a comment from Margaret. I recently decluttered, I only want less clothes that are good quality, less is more. Excellent. Excellent, Margaret. Well done, and it's hard to do it. Uh, Cynthia, USA Brands, for a single mom on a budget who wants to look feminine and classy with quality fabrics. Um, right, so I'm, I don't live in the US. Um, I, when I, when I give links, affiliate links, I give links from um, Nordstrom because Nordstrom do a number, um, many, many brands. Um, otherwise you have a J. Crew, but J. Crew is quite expensive. Um, Who have we got? Uh, mm. Yeah, it is difficult. Um, 
if some of you have are from the US and know good brands, um, please let's uh, help Cynthia. Cynthia is having um, is looking for US brands uh, for single mom on a budget. Who wants to look feminine and classy with quality fabrics. So if you're from the US and want to help her, please give her the names of such brands. Thank you. A comment from Marie Curie. Oh, nice. Velvet, including corduroy, is often cut badly. The nap must go upwards for depth of color. If it goes down with the color looks washed out and stained. Um, is he tested by ring the finger? No. That's a very good tip, Marie. Very good tip. Thank you. Um, a question from Mon Pet so is polyester a no no acrylic nylon rayon? I find all this confusing. Um, it depends if you're not if you are allergic to, to natural fibers, this could be the answer. Um, the things that we don't really like because they're not natural, because they are heavily processed, they use a lot of water, that kind of things. You know, um, is one of the reasons why we don't people don't really like um, man-made fabrics, um, and also because they don't breathe with you. For instance, nylon, polyester, um, they don't breathe with you, and this is why you know they, they're not comfortable uh, in a cold environment. You find, for instance, um, polyester blouse in a Air conditioned office, it'll be fine. Um, but to each his own, and um, if you can't wear natural fabrics, um, then go for the um, the man made one. And man made fiber now really resembles um, many natural fibers, such as silk, for instance. A comment from Paula, some examples of quality brands, please. A again, that's difficult um, to say, you know, you want US brands, UK brands, French brands, they vary from the country, where are they manufactured? Um, I look at where they're manufactured. I look at the um, composition, composition or the, the, the fabric content, you know, what fabric um, is it made of? There's so many brands out there. Have a look. Uh, what you could do is go to the um, to Nordstrom, for instance, and have a look at the number of brands, or go on um, Matches, Matches Fashion, or Netta Porte, Luisa Via Roma. These are going to be for um, more expensive designers, but they're not all the high-end designers like Balmain and Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, you have also some um, low-end designers who offer good fabric, good um, uh, good quality at a low price as well. Um, a question from Caroline, what weight of silk should you look for in trousers and skirt? How is silk weight measured described? Um, yes, the higher the, the mummy, the heavier, uh, the better quality it goes. So, a silk that is really light. Um, it's, it's a bit like uh, hosiery, uh, the denier. So the, the higher the denier, for instance, something in, in 60 deniers or 80 deniers is going to be thicker than the denier, like a pair of stockings in five or seven deniers. For instance, 10 deniers is going to be much thinner. Uh, it used to be the, the, um, the weight uh, of the silk. Um, so Lily Silk, for instance, do very good quality, um, silk blouses for the price. And, um, even some at two or three times, uh, the price of the, some items in Lily Silk are not even as nice as those on Lily Silk. Um, I may be partial because I've, I've worked with Lily Silk for a few years now. But the blouse is absolutely beautiful and they're thick, very good quality. So you could have a look at the um, website if you wanted to. Um, well, I hope that's helpful. <laughs> 
from Sharon, women have um, have power through the purchases. Yes, exactly. And it's, it's um, again you're voting with your with your wallet. Uh, so that means that if you you're buying the the quality items, you are voting with your with your wallet with your money. So you have your power. You have purchasing power. Um, if fewer people, if hardly any people buy fast fashion and all these things not badly made, well, um, you know, people, uh, those brands will um, wake up and um, smell the coffee, so to speak, and uh, stop manufacturing these poor quality items and start uh, making an effort. So very good comment, Sharon. Uh, question from Charlie. Uh, ah, in French. Très souvent, vous essayez des pantalons avec des chaussures de différentes hauteurs. La longueur est toujours OK. Comment mesurer un bord de pantalon pour qu'il fasse euh, avec une majorité de souliers? So, uh, question from Charlie. Um, you know, very often, uh, you try trousers with shoes that have you know, varying um, heel height. Um, how to measure um, the trousers in order that it looks okay for majority of shoes? Well, for me, I'm going to buy either a shorter length trousers that I can wear only with flats. So that would be flat or just very low heel. And then I know I can't wear high heel with them. Or the longer ones, and then I know I can wear probably two, three inches. Um, and I know it's not always practical because, you know, sometimes you want to wear um, certain pair of trousers, but, oh, it's too short for your high heels or, or your long trousers is going to be too long for your flats. Uh, <laughs> so... It, it is difficult, it is uh, something to try out, and if something you buy is too long, you need to go to your seamstress and have it uh, hemmed up. There is no magic bullet, I think, for that one. Um, but, it, you know, I don't think we are now um, to the point of measuring, okay, it needs to be one centimeter away from the bottom of the hill, you know, otherwise, if it's too short, it's, that doesn't go. You know, now we no longer have that. We no longer um, follow this guideline that we used to have maybe in the 50s um, or 60s. Now we're a little bit uh, freer. Um, and you can tell now we're wearing the style is a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and that's our outfit. Um, not that I agree all the time with everything, but um, more or less. If it's not, if the trouser doesn't go too far up, I mean, there are seven eighth trousers, you know, where you show the ankle, there are crop trousers, or there are very long trousers, the puddle trousers, you know. Um, so I think, you know, it's, it's just, you can make it right uh, very easily now. So um, just try things uh, with your with your shoes. And uh, again, you know, if it's, too, too short, don't wear those um, heel shoes. And if they are too long, have a little bit hemmed up. Uh, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, Charlie from BLK to now, there's Sumisura. Yes, Sumisura do custom clothing. So trousers, etc. You pick the fabric. Fabrics, a friend of mine uses them and loves them. Very well made and the fit is to your measure. Yeah, it's true because I did a collab with them a few years ago. Um, yes, yeah, so let's not um, let's not be too hasty about some brand that are deemed, you know, the, the low brand because you know, not people, not everybody has big budget, and some people have small budget, and they have to shop somewhere. So they can, everybody 
um, should buy the qualities that they can afford. And some people have low budget, so they can buy, you know, the quality they can afford. People have medium budget, so they buy quality they can afford. People have high, higher budget, and they buy the quality that they can afford. Um, so there are various price points, and um, some people who have a very low budget can't, um, maybe they can't um, save enough money to buy um, very good quality. So we have the lower brand for people who, who have a very low budget. So we still have to um, be careful about and be kind also um, and not being hasty in um, those low brands that cater for people who have low budgets. I always say, be kind to each other. <laughs> From A. Williams, applying friendship principles guarantee a well-curated, functional, and sustainable wardrobe to enjoy for many years, which has value in return. Ah, perfect. Love it. Thank you. Very good comment. Um, from Sparkly, what about this trend to crop trousers all year round? I'm suspicious it's just another form of strict function, an indicator of color coating. Well, it could be, well be. It could well be. You know, shrink flexion. Oh, let's do lots of crop things. Um, let me know what you have noticed. You know, short um, crop things, um, crop tops, crop cropped sweaters, cropped um, cardigans, short jackets, um, crop trousers. Here you are. Could well be to save some money. I've said it many, many times. Um, many times they, they do a, a kind of um, Chanel style skirt suit so you have that nice Chanel style jacket and a, and a, the skirt the skirt is always mini no please have a proper length skirt when you sit down you don't want to be wearing a micro skirt <laughs> well i don't anyway <laughs> um so there was another thing about, I'll say, I mentioned it quality um, briefly about um, buying from um, secondhand shop, that kind of thing. We, some of you call it thrifting. Uh, so you have, mad, um, who's your, have Vestiaire Collective we have in France, and now they're everywhere. They're very good Vestiaire Collective because they all also um, check if what you buy is from a designer or not. Um, there's second-hand shops now everywhere, vintage, etc. Many, many. So that's another way to uh, buy cheaper, but buy quality and give a second life, etc. Not buying new again. Many people are doing just that. They never don't buy new anymore, but they buy second-hand, and that's, that's very good. And you know, there's something for everybody like that. And that's a way also. There are many advantages and benefits. Uh, that's also a way to look a little bit original. Now, if you buy something from the 70s, 80s, 90s, it has this vintage uh, look and feel. It has this je ne sais quoi that nobody else is wearing. I mean, it's very good. Um, I have something for you, my lovely ladies, because you have been here with me since the beginning. You live with me. So uh, I wanted to offer you um, a bundle. And it is um, shop like a French woman equals and create a spring capsule wardrobe masterclass. So that those two, this course and this masterclass together in a bundle. Uh, so I'm gonna give you the link here. And um, this bundle is only at $99. So I think it's half price. I'm gonna, it is a half price, yes. So I'm gonna put, this bundle here. Oh. No, I didn't write it down properly then. Uh, oh. The bundle. Um, bundle, bundle, I wrote it twice. Uh, it is called the Shop and Spring Bundle. So I'm going to put it here again, shop and spring 
Bandon. And I'm going to put the, oh, the link again for you, if you like. So half the price of those two together. Um, and in this bundle, you have, so you have access to the Shop Like a French Woman e-course. It tells you everything of, and all the techniques and guidelines um, of how the French women shop the way we shop. So that you don't make, um, uh, so that you don't waste your money, you know. And the spring masterclass is how you create your spring capsule um, wardrobe. Then, and then. So we're doing it together on that masterclass. So if you enjoy it, you are welcome. I hope you enjoy that. Oh, thank you very much from Catholic cow, uh, Catholic cowgirl. Uh, again, every week, uh, this lovely lady gives me um, super thanks. Thank you very much. I have a hard time buying jeans that are all cotton. I think they last longer. What do you think? Yes, ideally, they should be 100% um, cotton and thick. So, But there are some low quality that are thin, and th this one, these won't last as well. Also, if you want to buy some good quality jeans, buy them in a dark color, as dark as you can. Uh, in French, we call them brut. Uh, brut uh, means that they have not been, um, um, in, they are not in light wash. They have not been bleached because every time they bleached jeans, um, it becomes thinner. It uh, damages the fiber, the fiber of denim. So if you want good quality jeans that will last a long time, buy it as dark as you can, as brute as you can. I'm going to show you. This, about the colors of the jeans that I buy, they're always dark. So they're, they're all blue, but you can see how dark they are. And these last. Death. I mean, they are thick, okay, they are not bleached. The lighter the jeans are, the, they're not going to last. They're going to start uh, having holes on your bottom or um, on your knees or wherever, but they won't last. So get something dark like that and, you know, nice and thick. And um, it will last. Cotton, the contour de cotonnier, they do make, they do really good jeans really thick um i like them there's another one as well here from massimo dirty really nice as well dark um they're not bleached and let's not forget that bleaching is not very good either um for the environment uh Okay, so thank you very much. So that was the last question, I think. Ah, final question from Cynthia. I love dresses in the summer, but because of my arthritic knees, shoes are going to be an issue now. Any suggestion? Uh, I did a video on uh, flat shoes for spring, Cynthia. So go into my YouTube channel. And I did a video there, I think it was last Sunday. So have a look there because the big trend on shoes is flat, flat or very low heel like kitten heels. So hopefully you will find something for you. So I think that's it. We had answered all the questions. We talked about the good quality. And the thing to remember is go for uh, natural fabric, something that is thick, something that's heavy, things are well finished. Um, you know, things are in wool, for instance, or various uh, types of wool. Um, cashmere should be nice and soft and shouldn't be itchy. Um, and um, avoid light wash jeans. Go for dark wash or brut, as we say in France. Um, because the, the brut has not been bleached, it's thicker, will last longer. So let's love our clothes, our good quality clothes. And I will speak to you again next Thursday. Um, oh, next Thursday or the week after? 
because okay we will um double check on that because i've got other live stream that day so i will see you again um if it's going to be next thursday or the thursday afterwards thank you very much every one of you for participating this is a really good live stream and uh, thank you again catholic um cowgirl i appreciate you and i appreciate every one of you thank you very much au revoir